pulse us. Hands in our lap, hands in our lap, voices up, voices up. Pardon me, I put my phone, uh, guitar down. Thank you for singing with me. Here's what we're doing in elementary music today. Elementary Academy scholars will be able to move to music, discover our secret word of the day, sing I Love the Mountains, and match pitch as we sing Little Sir Echo. Those are our goals for the day. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is move to music. So in last week's video, we did Down Down Baby. So we're going to go through Down Down Baby uh, four different times. The first time we're going to do it Largo crawling speed. Second time we're going to do it andante, walking speed. Third time we're going to do it allegro, skipping speed. And fourth time we're going to do it presto, running speed. I'm going to get my cat out of the way. He's going to make an appearance. Hi, Dishu. Dishu, go play. All right, so first is largo, crawling speed. It's going to feel like we're moving in slow motion. Now when we do down, down, baby during that second half, we have to jump and cross our feet. You can't see my feet right now because of where I am in the video. Um, I'm at my house right now. So we're just gonna have to rely on our memories to know to do that. Here we go. Tap, tap, here we go. Down, down, baby. Down by the roller coaster. Sweet, sweet, baby. I don't wanna let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, coco pop. Shimmy, shimmy, round. Shimmy, shimmy, coco pop. Shimmy, shimmy, break down. Two big kids sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of sixty-five cents. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. Whew. That felt very slow. That's Largo for ya. All right, next we're moving it up to Andante. That's walking speed. So I just like to kind of march in place and how fast my feet move when I walk down the hallway. And we'll do it again. Here we go. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster. Sweet, sweet, baby, I don't want to let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, coco pop, shimmy, shimmy, round. Shimmy, shimmy, coco pop, shimmy, shimmy, break down. Two big kids sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of 65 cents. She missed, she missed. She missed like this. She missed. She missed. She missed like this. Remember to jump and cross your legs part way through? All right, third time through, we're doing an allegro. This is skipping speed, a brisk pace, we might say. So faster than we just did it. This is maybe a little bit faster than the way we learned it. So it shouldn't be too tricky for us. I think we'll get it. Tap, tap, here we go. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster. Sweet, sweet, baby, I don't want to let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, coco pop, shimmy, shimmy, round. Shimmy, shimmy, coco pop, shimmy, shimmy, break down. Two big kids sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of 65 cents. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. Okay, last time we're going to Presto. Presto is fast. It's running speed. <sighs> This might be very challenging for some of you. Just do your best. If you make a mistake, make it big. Tap, 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 tap. Here we go. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster. Sweet, sweet, baby, I don't want to let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy, round. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy, break down. Two big kids sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of 65 cents. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. <laughs> there we go. Whew. <laughs> you can relax, have a seat, and breathe. All right, second thing we're doing today is our secret word of the day. I don't have my whiteboard with me, so I'm going to write it on a sheet of paper today, uh, and that works okay. The reason why I'm recording this from my home instead of in the music room is because we're going to have a guest, special guest singer later on the video. Okay, secret word of the day. I'm going to draw some lines. 
five lines to be exact. And by drawing those five lines, ooh, my last one was a little crooked, that's okay, I've created four spaces in between. Now we're in elementary academy, which means pretty much everything we do is in the treble clef, which means it's in a high sounding voice or it's a high sounding instrument. So I'm gonna draw that swirly symbol at the beginning. That is a treble clef. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna draw a few letters or and a few music notes on my board and we're gonna figure out our secret word of the day. I forgot what it was, I remember. Okay, the first letter is already there for us. It's the letter L. We don't have to figure that out. There is no L in the musical alphabet because the musical alphabet is only A through G. The second letter is missing though. So I'm going to draw a music note on the staff. Shade in the head of the note and draw my stem. Which looks like that. So we're going to have to figure out what that note's called. The next note, or the next letter, excuse me, is the letter T. That's not in the musical alphabet. Musical alphabet only goes A through G. And then we have one more. I'm going to extend my staff a little bit. And I'm going to stick that way up here. My head and my stem. Okay. So we have to figure out two letters in our secret word of the day to spell out the rest of this word. So, let's look at our first one. First I want you to think, is it on a line or in a space? <laughs> that one's in a space. I can tell it's in a space because it's getting smushed between two of the lines. It's in that space. And I always say, if it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. So you start at the bottom and spell the word face. F, A, C, E, F, A, C, E. E. What letter did I say when I hit the head of the note? That's the circle part of the note. A. So I'm going to put an A in the blank. Next I have the letter T. And now I have another space. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. So I start at the bottom, I spell the word face. F A C E. F A C E. E. What letter did I say when I hit the head of the note? E. E. L A T E. Our secret word of the day is late. Late. I hope I'm not late to school today. That would be terrible. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is move on and we're going to sing a song called I Love the Mountains. Now, usually when we do songs in music class, I have some of the words written up on the whiteboard, but I don't have a big whiteboard in my house that I can use in videos. So I'm just going to teach it by rote, which means I'm going to sing it. You're going to copy me, just like we've done in the past. So I'm going to sing. You're going to copy me. The first words are, I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. I love the fireside. When all the lights are low. Boom diada. Boom diada. Boom diada. Boom diada. Boom diada doesn't mean anything. That's called a vocable in music, which is just like a nonsense word. Okay? So those are the words. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Boom diada, boom diada, boom diada, boom diada. Now, I'm going to sing it. I sing, you copy me. My turn. Mr. Oz, will you play our right, first song? Okay. I love the mountains. Your turn. I love the mountains. My turn. I love the rolling hills. Your turn. I love the rolling hills. My turn. I love the flowers. Your turn. I love the flowers. My turn. I love the daffodils. Your turn. I love the daffodils. My turn. I love the fireside. Your turn. I 
along the fireside. My turn. When all the lights are low. Your turn. When all the lights are low. My turn for a long one. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di da. Your turn. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di da. Okay, let's put some pieces together. My turn first. We really got to know this kind of by heart for us to be successful in a couple minutes. Okay, we're going to put the first two parts together. My turn. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. Your turn. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. Your turn. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. My turn. I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Your turn. I love the fireside when all the lights are low. My turn. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di da. Your turn. Okay, so you might have noticed that every time we sing a new part, our voice just kind of creeps a little bit higher, and then at the end we drop back down low again. Okay, let's try to put it all together. We're going to sing it a couple times, and then we're going to do something kind of crazy and challenging with it. Okay, so sing with me, whole thing put together. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills, I love the flowers, I love the daffodils, I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di da. After we sing boom di da that last time, we jump right back into I love the mountains. So the end will sound like. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di da. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di da. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. Okay, I'd like to introduce our special guest. Um, my husband, name is Mr. Isles, is the one that's been playing guitar off camera. Hey, everybody. Mr. Isles. I hope I'm not late. <laughs> Get it? Secret word of the day. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Isles is a wonderful guitar player. He's a wonderful singer. He played saxophone when he was in middle school and high school. Yeah. Um, he can play piano. He's a very musical person. I like music. Um, so I have asked him to come and sing I Love the Mountains with me. Because I Love the Mountains is the first song that we sing in Elementary Academy that introduces what's called harmony. Harmony is when two different notes are played or sung at the same time. Uh, you can actually have three or four or five or six or seven or a bazillion different notes played at the same time to make harmony. Um, one of the simplest, most accessible, easiest ways to create harmony at the very beginning of our musical journey is to sing in what's called a round. A round is when one person sings and the other person kind of echoes it. They sing the same thing, they just start at different times. So Mr. Isles and I are gonna demonstrate how to sing I Love the Mountains in a round. And then we're going to ask you to sing along with one of us. And it might be challenging. It might confuse you because you might be hearing one thing but singing something different. But you just got to have a lot of confidence in yourself. Okay? So Mr. Isles are gonna, and I are going to sing by ourselves. So right now your job is just to listen. Now, Mrs. Isles, what happens if I make a mistake when we're singing? That's okay. If you make a mistake, make it big. No big deal. Okay. We all I make do mistakes. that. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I 
love the flowers, so I love the daffodils, I love the flowers, I love the daffodils, I love the fireside when I'm a light so I sang it through two times. Did you notice how I finished and Mr. Isles was still singing? And that's because he started later than I did and he had to finish this part of the song. Okay, so now we're going to challenge ourselves. This might be tricky for some of you. Put your thinking caps on. Your brains are growing bigger by trying this. If you are a boy, I want you to sing with Mr. Isles to start. And if you are a girl, I want you to sing with me to start. So if you are a boy, you're going to hear me singing to start, but you just have to wait. You're going to wait with Mr. Isles. Watch his mouth. When he starts singing, you start singing. And if you are a girl, you're going to sing with me, and it's going to start off sounding pretty normal. But then you're going to hear the boys' voices start singing along. So you just got to focus in on me. Okay? So if you're a boy, you're focusing on Mr. Isles. If you're a girl, you're focusing on Mrs. Isles. Let's try it. So I hope you sang loud and proud. If you made a mistake, that's okay. Uh, now we're going to switch. Boys, you're going to sing with Mrs. Isles. Girls, you have to wait. And you're going to sing with Mr. Isles. Boys with me, girls with Mr. Isles. Okay? Focus on your person. Here you go. that last time I said a sire side instead of fire side. That, that was, happens. That was a little silly, but I just sang loud and proud. That's okay. Perfect. All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ellis, for no singing problem. with us today. Yeah, thank you guys. I hope you had a fun time. Yeah, and we'll see you later. High five. Okay. All right, scholars, we have one last thing to do today, and that is matching pitch as we sing a song called Little Sir Echo. Some of you may have heard this song before. Some of you may not have heard this song before. This song has a very special place in my heart. I used to sing this song with my grandma, Rosemary, when I was very young. It's her favorite song, still is today. I think she's like 85 or something. This is still her favorite song. Um, and this is a really great song I used to do pitch matching with students. Now, pitch matching is when your voice sounds like mine. And I don't mean that you your voice sounds like like I, you recorded my voice and played it back. I just mean that if I sing a high note, you're singing the same high note. If I sing a low note, you're singing the same low note. So I'm going to think sing through little Sir Echo and then we'll talk about what your part is, what my part is, and what your goal is when you're pitch matching. So here's how the song goes. Little Sir Echo, how do you do? Hello, 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 hello. Little Sir Echo will answer you. Hello, 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 hello. Won't you come over and play and play? A nice little fellow I know by your voice. But you're always so far away, away. So that's how our song goes. Now, this song is a call and response song. Uh, we do a call and response song every day when we sing, We are singing, tracking the talker. There's a caller, a leader, who starts it off, and then the response, something that is sung back. 
Sometimes that's just like an echo. Sometimes it's something different. Um, in this song, all you have to do is echo me. So when I sing, little Siraco, how do you do? Hello. You sing, hello. And then I sing, hello. And you sing, hello. Then I sing, little Siraco will answer you. Hello. You sing, hello. Then I sing, hello. You sing, hello. I sing, hello. You sing, hello. I sing, hello. You sing, hello. Then I sing, won't you come over and play? You sing, and play. A nice little fellow, I know by your voice, but you're always so far away. And you sing, away. Now, pitch matching is a very good thing for us to learn. It's a great skill, especially when we're in elementary academy. Um, so here's how I always explain it to kids. If I sing hello and you sing hello, my kitty's back, hold on. <laughs> then you're pitch matched. <laughs> um, if I sing hello and you sing hello, eh, it's close. You sing high when I sing high, you sing low when I sing low, but they didn't quite match. If I sing hello and you sing hello, then you kind of got that backwards. You sang low when I sang high, and you sang high when I sang low. Sometimes I have students when I sing hello, and they do this. Hello. Well, that's a talking voice. That's not even a singing voice. And then sometimes when I do it, I sing hello, and kids go. And don't do anything. In music, we have to participate and join it. So I 100% hope that doesn't happen. If we still need to find our singing voices in second, third, fourth grade, we can work on that. If we can't hear the difference between high and low, we can work on that. But our goal is really to try to pitch match. Hello, hello. Your voice sounds the same as mine. So we're going to sing through Little Sir Echo. I'm going to hold my hand up so that you can know when to sing a high and a low pitch. And I'm going to sing your part very softly for now. Okay? So I start. Little Sir Echo, how do you do? Hello, 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 hello. Little Sir Echo will answer you. Hello, 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 hello. Won't you come over and play? A nice little fellow, I know by your voice, but you're always so far away, away. All right, we're going to do it one more time, just for good practice. Your goal is really to pitch match. Uh, usually when I do this, I have a little target, and we try to get a bullseye. It's harder to do when we're doing distance learning and you're watching this on YouTube, but I just want you to check in with yourself. I believe there are seven echoes. So you can maybe just be like, did I get that one? Yep, I'm going to give myself a point. Did I get that one? Yep, I gave myself a point. Okay, see how many points you get. Okay, here we go. Little Sir Echo, how do you do? Hello. Hello. Little Sir Echo will answer you. Hello. 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 Won't you come over and play? A nice little fellow, I know by your voice, but you're always so far away. There we go. All right, we only have one more thing to do today, Elementary Academy, and that is to do our train exit. So breathe with me. Here we go. Thank you for making music with me and Mr. Alice today. I hope you have a magical musical day, and I'll see you next time.